everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz the universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically, set attention to your mind, and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So I'm going to talk on um, how life is music, okay, uh, tonight. And I'm just going to pretty much go in on, on this very, very, I'm going to make it very simple to, to understand, um, because it's a very simple thing to understand. Music is very, very, uh, simple. Uh, okay. Something that shouldn't be hard to tune into or understand for anybody. So I'm going to actually, uh, explain what I mean by life is music and, uh, how to start listening or tuning in to the the music of existence okay or the music of uh life all right so let's get into this um so life is music right and when i say life is music everything is music okay everything and ev existence and non-existence all music um everything is in complete harmony you know and and whenever um Whenever you look at music, you, you can see bands, you can see um, choirs, you can see everything is in harmony. You know, they're uh, orchestrating it, you know, and it's all, all completely harmonized together. It's all in and accorded to one s rhythm, you know, and it's all very, very um, simplistically intricate. You know, it's a uh, very simple. It's very simple at the base of it, but it can it can get very very intricate and it can lead to complexities. You know, and and music can be very very complex. It can be very intricate, but it, it's so simple in its nature. You know, um, and it's the exact same thing with life. Uh, music is is very much mathematical. Okay, music is literally math. You know, this is why you count. Whenever, whenever you're um, writing music or you're playing sheet music, there's a specific count that you gotta go by. You know, uh, they're count. You're counting in music because it's all mathematical. You know, you're taking a count or you're doing a counting uh, while you're playing music. You know, uh, because all of life is mathematical to begin. Everything is is math. Okay, everything is mathematical and everything is built of uh, sacred geometries, okay, because everything is shape, you know, uh, the world's form is literally shapes, shape and form, um, and, and shapes is geometry, my body is made up of shapes, my house is made up of shapes, everything is shape, okay, form, uh, and, and shapes is geometry, Okay, uh, and then there's uh, recurring geometries or, or repeating number pattern, sequence, pattern sequences, um, which pretty much is geometry as well. Uh, but the, the repeating number patterns and the, and the repeating shapes that you can see, the repeating sequences that you can find throughout nature are the sacred geometries. And these are the ones that are building up all of life okay and these um once you're able to start seeing these throughout your life the patterns uh you're going to start tuning in to something very very sacred and it is the um it is life okay it's the uh harmony of life it's the music of life okay um so so to make this more simple and and not so complex um life is playing as a song, right? And you're part of the song. You're not separate from the song because there is no separation. Separation is a complete illusion. Um, so 
there is a song that is being played. Okay, it is the song of God or is the universal song is the cosmic song. It is the song of all. Okay, and um, you can get in tune with this song. Okay, a lot of people are out of tune with it uh, just because we have been put out of our nature and we are living uh, disharmonious with nature. Um, but I mean, slowly we're coming back into harmony once again. But you can get back in tune with the, with the universal song, right? Universal harmony. Um, and, and getting in tune with the universal harmony is uh, one of the most beautiful experiences you can have. And this comes with uh, opening up the heart chakra as well. This comes not so much with uh, thinking about tuning into the song, but more so um, feeling the rhythm. You know, it's like, like if you're in a band or if you're uh, listening to music, whatever it may be, you, uh, you feel the rhythm of it and you're able to catch the beat. You know, because you're feeling the rhythm. You're not thinking too much about the rhythm, but you're feeling the rhythm and you're flowing the energy, you know. And it's the exact same thing with life because life is music and it's no different. Everything is in a uh, complete harmony. It's like there's the drummer, there's the guitarist, there's the bassist, there's vocalist, and there's uh, many different members of a band, right? And they're all playing in harmony and they're all feeling each other out and they're all... Um, in rhythm we're all in rhythm when it comes to existence and the universe okay uh, and we're all interconnected you know we're all breathing in um, oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide to the trees and the, and we're in a cycle like this you know and 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 everything is taking care of each other in this way and we're all coexisting and this and this is the song this in itself is the song that you need to get in tune with Otherwise, you're not going to be able to listen to the music and it's going to be very, very bleak for you. Um, and you, your soul can, can be very, very much dulled because you're not able to uh, hear the music of existence. So uh, there was one time where I was sitting outside and um, I was just like in a meditation. I was in a meditative state. I wasn't really meditating. I was just sitting outside. You know, uh, but I was like listening to everything. You know, I was listening to the birds. I was listening to everything. Uh, and I wasn't really focused on anything but just listening, right? And this was a while back. But I was just listening and and uh, I was able to, to break into a very, very harmonious state. M maybe I was tuning into like, uh, light, like cosmic waves or something or light waves. I don't know, but I was able to break in a state of like uh, s s super harmony. And it was very, very beautiful because in this moment where I was able to, to, to hear the song of nature, it was, um, it was very healing for, for the small time that I was able to do break into this harmony, you know. Um, and and this song is always being played it's always on and it's not uh it's very healing too it's not uh it doesn't really put you off or nothing it's like once you're in tune with it you you are very very um uh, you're you're at that moment uh radiating a very very um uh, deep warmth you know because you, you you know at that point or you know in that moment of harmony that you're very uh that you are also playing in this song with everything that is also in a in, a, in rhythm you know um uh, and once again and this experience comes with an open heart because you got to feel the rhythm of everything, you know, and, and you can start feeling the rhythm of the earth. Um, you can resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field. You can resonate with the universe's electromagnetic field. You can feel many different types of patterns, many different types of sequences. The, the more sensitive you become to it, you know, uh, and, and the more, more sensitive you become, the more you start to understand 
uh, the simplicity of everything, but within that simplicity is intricacies and complexities, you know, but it all is coming from, from very simple, uh, very simple oneness, you know, or, or even beyond the oneness, uh, a nonness or no thingness, which is void, you know, uh, which is discord. You need the discord for the music to, to take place. Otherwise, uh, there would be no there would be no music. You need the discord, okay? Which is um, which is no music, okay? This is like uh, space, but without dimension, because dimension is the music, okay? Uh, sound and light is the music. The the dance of sound and light is pretty much the music that you want to be tuning into, and you're not able to see it and become as sensitive unless you open up the heart, okay? And then once you're able to open up the heart, you're able to join in the cosmic song uh, and have an experience of uh, interconnectedness with everything, you know? And then you literally just become, um, you literally become the universe. You know, it's very, very profound. And this is what music does. Music is, uh, is, is very, very special in this way. And this is why uh, people of the earth love music because it does something, a certain thing to us, to everybody. Um, and 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 the earth song or the universe's song is is uh, very very special because it does something uh, very very special for us. Okay, so you got to tune in. Um, you can obviously get in a meditative state. You know, uh, you can even smoke weed. You can um, you can even take psychedelics to get in tune with this. You can uh, do yoga. Most definitely, yoga is going to help you to get in tune with that song. Um, but once you once you start to listen to that song, um, it's gonna start r rapidly changing you in a very very good way because you're then uh, beginning to hear the the. Uh, you're beginning to hear something that you were never able to hear before, which is uh, only for the people who are uh, courageous, okay, enough to to uh, go about allowing for, for the um, connection to be there, you know, which is much needed for everybody on the earth. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the video for tonight. All of life is music. Music is mathematical. Music is math. Life is mathematical. Life is literally sacred geometry. Geometry is shape. Life is form. And uh, music is form. You know, when you're writing music, you're writing formula. Equations. You're writing math when you're writing music. Okay, and this is why you count music. Because you're accounting. You're doing an account. You know, uh, and this is, you can have various different rhythms. You can have various different sequences of counting and it can be very complex but it's very very simple at the same time you know and it can get very paradoxical too the uh the more you dive into the voids okay the discords but that's gonna be it for today's video i do thank everybody for watching one love peace out and have a great evening